dog speaks Chinese? Good day, my beautiful people. We're back up in this house once again with another video. <laughs> I hope everything is good and all is well with all of you today. And I feel like today is a quite a special day. Today is a quite a special artist that we're talking about. Today we're chatting about Eric Nam and his latest music video called Congratulations, featuring Marky Basie, legend, genius, love it. And I felt like um, I felt like it was quite important to to talk about this release. It was. I felt like it was important to talk about. The release of Eric Nam, I feel like, especially with, about this latest album, right? Uh, and and mentioning Eric's story, you know, and how and how it kind of has made this full, you know, circle. You know, him being back in America, making music, you know, releasing albums, releasing a full English album in America, right? So I wanted to check it out. I wanted to see what was it all about. Y'all know me as a bass player. We're going to take a look at the bass. We're searching for a great bass line always. Uh, I am, we're going to try and debunk this track. Uh, we're going to see what is what. Let's see how this song was produced. We're going to talk music. We're going to talk Eric Nam. We're going to talk Marky Basie. And we're just going to talk music. So let's get it. Okay. I love the guitars already. Beautiful acoustic guitar. I break balloons, you get cups. Dress up in your favorite tubs. Champagne for the great. two of us. I set the table. I love his voice. Like I love, love, love his voice. You do with it what you want. A souvenir or some junk. It looks fine. Oh, oh, the bass, yes. Let's throw a party here tonight and toast to the end of you and I. So we get a sub bass and a synth bass, you know, as you would. <laughs> some pulsating synthesizers as well. We get some 808s. We get live drums a little bit. Uh, vocal sampling. Beautiful gang vocals, beautiful backup vocals. Oh, legend. Oh, the jazz, yes. Such a unique tone. Of course. Both of them have so unique tones, and I feel like they mesh very, very well together. The arrangement of the track is beautiful. Very, very minimalistic. I love the minimalism of this. I've always enjoyed minimalism within tracks. Do you want me to rearrange this? I'd be happy to rearrange this for all of you. Oh, I love this. This is such a cool song. Such a well, well made track. I love those 808s on it, uh, the rhythm of them. Beautiful background vocals. Congratulations, baby. Now that you're finally leaving, let's throw a party. So we have a vocal doubling initially, or vocal dubbing. So we have like the main vocal and they're like three or four, I believe, could be three or four-ish like panned out vocals, which kind of gives a very beautiful stereo kind of a uh, atmosphere within within the entire, you know, kind of section there. Beautiful. I love this song. Yes. <laughs> Yo, yo, I love the outfit, I stand. yo, I love Eric, <laughs> I love Eric, he's so awesome. It's 
so we get kind of like an outro like an and like an interlude you know wow wow yo this is so cool uh the overall track of itself right it's it's quite minimalistic when we kind of talk about the instrumentation of the track, right? And, uh, and, and of course, there's a lot of detail, right? Uh, there's, there's a lot of detail within the vocals, uh, within the gang vocals, harmonies, you know, background vocals, main vocals, <laughs> the gang vocals, sampled vocals, all the vocals that you hear here within the track, right? There's, uh, I feel like so much went into them. Because I feel like even though you can hear that there's the aspect of the gang vocal, there's the aspect of the background vocal, there's the aspect of the harmony, right? <laughs> of the melody initially. But it is, I feel like it's also, of course, you know, a kudos and, and, a, and a pro to the, to the mixing engineers, right? Because they just mixed it so, so well together. And it didn't sound very very muddy it didn't sound muddy and i feel like uh when it comes to arranging tracks and producing tracks that is my personal opinion that's that's how i feel the more minimalistic of a backing track you make or the more minimalistic the beat you make the more you can expand within the vocals and it goes you know vice versa right the more more detail more emphasis you put on the beat the less you can put on on the vocals i feel like um, and, and, and the track itself it was super minimalistic. We hear some acoustic guitars there at the beginning, right? Uh, and then they also went throughout the track itself at some parts there, not, not at all times. We hear some sub bass, synth bass, the usual 808 drums, live drums. We hear some, um, ambient synthesizers. We hear some pulsating synth synthesizers. We hear, you know, <laughs> uh, vocal sampling. Um, I feel like, I feel like that the, some parts of the vocal sampling might be like reversed. I feel like, I feel like that there's kind of like that hook part. I feel like that the vocal sample there was kind of reversed, it sounded like it to me. Um, but I, this collaboration and this track itself is beautiful. I feel like this track makes a great part of the show so whenever Eric goes on tour I know that he's going on tour 2020 so uh that's something that we all can look forward to and I I know for for a fact that when whenever he will perform this track everyone's gonna be singing along everyone's gonna be vibing dancing you know jumping around and having a blast you know and everything and this is this is definitely one of those songs even though it's you know that that breakup quote unquote song, right? And where he's literally congratulating himself, right? <laughs> that it's finally over, right? I feel like it's it's just it's just one of those tracks that everyone's gonna relate to, right? On on some on some level level of some sorts, right? Uh, whether those are the lyrics, whether that is the melody, you know, the vibe, the atmosphere of the track, or just just the initial show, right? Within within the set list of the tour. Um, but this collaboration, y'all know, I love Marky Basie. He has, he is so unique. You know, his voice is probably one of the most unique voices I know of. And I love also, I love and I adore Eric's voice. Uh, he's, he's, he's fantastic. They're both of them are fantastic. And this, I feel like this collaboration went so smoothly together. Their voices just blended so well together, right? Because they are, both of them are so unique. And, you know, and they get, I feel like they get each other musically, you know, very, very well, you know, and that they vibe with each other very, very well. Um, and I, and, and you can, you, you can hear that when it comes to, to music, right? When you, when you kind of listen to collaborations and features and, you know, and I feel like you can hear that, uh, that chemistry between artists, you can hear that chemistry between, you know, everybody who's, who has worked on that specific project. Whether that is a song, whether that is an album, you know, anything, uh, and 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 you and you can see that here. I I feel like you can see it very very clear, you know, and th they mesh together very very well. Uh, I love both of their voices. Very very unique. Very very beautiful. I love Marky. Um, 
I love Basie's, you know, like that that little kind of a soul and jazz aspect to his voice, uh, and that little rasp there, right? Because uh, if we, I, I don't really want to compare their voices, but <laughs> because that's not, you know, because there's no such thing as a good voice or a bad voice, you know, because everyone's different, everyone's unique, and uh, and, and and you know, and if if you are within, if you are working within the the music industry, I feel like or just being an artist musician you know I feel like uh, everyone's unique you know every one of us is mastering their own you know craft <laughs> you know and they if both of them have mastered their like their craft so well and I feel like this is one of those tracks that you you can see that right um, no matter whether that is the production whether that is the performance i want to see this live actually i, I do want to see this live so hopefully so hopefully in 2020 when eric you know tours again and if he's here somewhere here uh <laughs> then uh i will i will be there but i love this collaboration this is a beautiful song i love the minimalism of this track um regarding the production I love, you know, it's still very, very modern. We still hear their unique kind of abilities when it comes to vocals and, and, and songwriting and, you know, and just writing lyrics and everything. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. I love this. This, <laughs> this is definitely going to be blasting on repeat. Definitely. If you haven't checked Eric's new album out, definitely go and do it. <laughs> Uh, and also let me know if I should do like a full review of the entire album. I would be happy to do it. If you want me to debunk more tracks from this album, if you want me to rearrange this track for you, uh, do let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you know, give this video a like. It don't hurt nobody, right? But I will leave you to that. Always remember to be good, be kind, rock and roll. And I'll see y'all very, very soon with a new video. Cheers! Just let me be a shine, baby.